to all Doctor Who fans. Hi, my name is Laura Cairo, and my purpose here tonight, besides urging you to join Channel 9, is also to give you a little background information on the program that you're watching tonight, and Doctor Who in general. But right now, I'd like to urge every one of you who have not called into Channel 9 in the past to please pick up your phone, dial 726-9900, and tell them that you would like to become a member of Channel 9 and join us in appreciating Doctor Who. Now, I know that we had a lot of people call in during the Gala of Stars, which ended a short while ago. They got 250 new members. Well, I know that we can have 250 new members during Doctor Who alone. I know that we can count on the Doctor Who members in the United States and in the St. Louis area in general. So please, pick up your phone, dial 726-9900. As I said last week, I find that many persons are closet Doctor Who fans. They don't like to admit that they like or even know the program unless they're in a room full of other Doctor Who fans. Yesterday I spoke to a fan who said that he wore some Doctor Who buttons to school. And as he did, a lot of people walked up to him and said that they liked the show also, but were afraid to let anyone know about it. Now that's strange, but true. Uh, I'm really not surprised that there is a Doctor Who underground here in St. Louis. And you, if you are one of those underground persons, well, you can become a member of Channel 9 and express your love of the program. And you can do it secretly if you don't really want to get involved with uh, fan clubs or such. All you have to do is dial in your pledge to Channel 9. Your friends and neighbors will never suspect, and you can get that good feeling that comes every time that you turn on Channel 9 to watch Doctor Who or any other of the programs they're watching. You're helping to keep Doctor Who on the air. I did want to let you know that we have some very special premiums this evening for those of you calling in for a membership. One of them is called Doctor Who, the Record Album. And as we showed you last week, we actually have pictures of the first five Doctors in pressed into the Record Album. It's pressed into the vinyl. On the back of the album, we have a picture of the TARDIS, the Doctor's Time and Relative Dimensions in Space machine. That is for our $35 membership here at Channel 9. For a $60 membership, we have what's called Doctor Who, the Unfolding Text. Now, this is a must for anyone's comprehensive library on Doctor Who and Doctor Who literature. We have uh, a lot of information back in this program. Oh, my goodness, it's upside down. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. We have a lot of information in this, pro in this booklet, Doctor Who, the Unfolding Text, and I'd like to give you just a little example of what you'll find inside. Now, this has to do with the name of the Doctor and Doctor Who. Doctor Who was not called Doctor Who, but The Doctor. Doctor Who is the title of the program, meaning Doctor Who. In one story called The War Machines, he had the computer saying, Doctor Who is required. Bring him in. That's just one of the most unforgivable things that you wouldn't now get with the current producer of the show. He was never Doctor Who. The Doctor Who bit arose from a line in the second episode of the program where Doctor where uh, the barber says, Dr. Foreman, and Ian says, that's not his name. Who is he? Dr. Who. So if you're thinking about talking about the doctor and Dr. Who, the person who's playing the character is always the doctor while the program is Dr. Who. And that's just some of the information that you can get in our special premium this evening for a $60 membership here in Channel 9. So you have two great premiums, and there's no reason why you can't be picking up your phone right now and dialing 726-9900. Tell the person on the phone that you enjoy the program of Doctor Who and that you want to give your money and your time in helping to support this great program. Uh, St. Louis and a few other cities in the United States are known as Doctor Who cities, mainly because the program is shown there and fans of the show organize into clubs and support groups for the program. And why is this true in St. Louis? Only because of Channel 9. Without Channel 9, there would be no Doctor Who in St. Louis. And without Doctor Who, you and I would be missing one great program. I did want to take just a few moments to mention the outfit I'm wearing tonight. I have an addition. Uh, this scarf that I'm wearing is the scarf that you see Tom Baker wearing this evening. And it's a very special scarf because it is, uh, it was thought up from a scarf that someone saw in a bar. Uh, it's, the story is, as Tom Baker tells it, they saw a scarf like this on someone in a pub as the bars in England are known, and they gave some, some yarn to someone to knit a scarf, and she knitted up everything they had and came out with an 18-foot scarf, and that became a trademark of Tom Baker here on the program. So, uh, also, we have several doctors since the program began. In fact, I can show them here on the record. We have six 
men who have played the doctor on television. Doctor number one was named William Hartnell. Doctor number two, Patrick Troughton. Doctor number three was named John Pertwee. Doctor number four was Tom Baker. And doctor number five was Peter Davison. Not on this record, the person you don't see, is doctor number six. His name is Colin Baker. We do have another doctor who played in the movies of the program, and that is Peter Cushing. Uh, so we have had a number of men play the doctor in, uh, on the program. And now here's a message from the president of Channel 9, Michael Hargrove. By the time this campaign started, it had been eight months, one week, and one day since you saw a pledge drive on Channel 9. Over the past year, we've reduced our on-air fundraising by 50%. And right now, only one major market PBS station has fewer pledge days than St. Louis. And even there, we're only one day apart. So I think we have kept our pledge to you to hold down on program interruptions for fundraising. Now we need your pledge. When we do have fundraising campaigns in December and March, they must succeed exceptionally well. For this drive to do its job, we have to hear from 5,000 of you. If you enjoy Channel 9 and appreciate the absence of pledge drives, make your voice heard on the telephone. And you can be one of those 5,000 people to make your voice heard here on Channel 9. I hear that the phones are going wild, and that's great. That's only expected of you Doctor Who fans. I expect it of you, and that's not just because uh, I know that you're very good. You are the kind of person who will support the programs that you like here on Channel 9. You like Doctor Who, and therefore you're calling up, you're supporting the program. If you get a busy signal on the phone, please don't hang up and try again at another time. Hang it up, start immediately, dial 726-9900, and keep those phones ringing. Now, as I said last week, Doctor Who is the longest-running science fiction program ever produced. The BBC Productions, who produce it, uh, have had it on the air since December 23, 1963. It's now seen in syndication all over the world, in fact, in 52 different countries and by many millions of people throughout the world. I did have something else I brought along tonight to show you. Some of you may have heard that Tom Baker mentions a particular candy when he's on the program. They're called Jelly Babies. And Jelly Babies are an actual candy that are sold in Great Britain. They look like small Jelly Babies. They come in five different flavors, five different colors. Uh, black ones are uh, a flavor called Black Currant. And they're extremely tasty. So if you hear or see Tom Baker mention Jelly Babies or eating one, rest assured that they are an actual candy that can be bought. Please pick up your phones, dial 726-9900. Tell the person on the phone that you want to support Doctor Who. If you called in in the past, perhaps you called in last week to lend your support to the program, thank you. Thank you very much. It's you and the other Doctor Who fans like you who are keeping the program on the air in St. Louis. You all belong with Channel 9. Channel 9. Doctor Who would not be seen in St. Louis without Channel 9 or Masterpiece Theater, or Nova, or the many other programs that you enjoy on Channel 9. So pick up that phone, dial 726-9900. Don't say, Doctor Who sent you, tell them that I sent you. Once again, I did want to mention our premiums for this evening. For a $35 membership here at Channel 9, you can get a Doctor Who, the record album, and put this upright, pressed into the record, the vinyl are pictures of five of the first doctors who've been on the program. And also it has great music on it, by the way. I was listening to some last week, and they, it does have nice music. For a $60 membership, which is only $5 a month for you Doctor Who fans, is our special book called Doctor Who, The Unfolding Text. You'll notice a picture of the TARDIS on the front, and a picture also of the BBC studios that are seen in London. Uh, BBC, of course, British Broadcasting Corporation, and they are the group who produce Doctor Who for us. So please, those premiums are priceless. You can get them very few places around the United States or around St. Louis. In fact, I don't think you can get the unfolding text anywhere in St. Louis. I've tried. Only here on Channel 9. $35 for the record or $60 for our special booklet. So I hope that you're picking up those phones and dialing 726-9900. The phones are going gr wild, great. We have people sitting back there waiting to take the information from you. And please don't be scared about calling in, uh, saying, well, what are they going to ask me? They're just very simple questions, your name, your address, how much you'd like to pledge toward the programs, whether you're a new or renewing membership. 
very simple things. Uh, there should be nothing stopping you from picking up your phone. Uh, so I don't see why not. Uh, I'm finding that a lot of people in St. Louis are really coming out of the woodwork uh, as far as their love of Channel 9 is go and Doctor Who is going. They like programs on Channel 9, such as Nova, Masterpiece Theater, the Wonderworks specials, which are on, on Sundays, uh, Doctor Who, of course, and other programs from Great Britain. And like Doctor Who, other programs from Great Britain are well done. Excellent entertainment, excellent performances, and the kind of thing that you would like to send your money into Channel 9 for. In fact, you could probably turn on your television any night in the week and turn it to Channel 9 and see something that you would enjoy watching. And it's that kind of service that we are paying for with our memberships. You owe it to your, yourself, you owe it to Channel 9 to pick up your phone and dial 726-9900. If you have called in the past week, if you have already pledged your membership to Channel 9, thank you very much. Your name is in the registers, you're counted, and your support is being noted. If you haven't called in yet, I've had a few people walk up to me and say, well, I've been thinking about joining Channel 9, but I'm not really sure. Well, why not? You're seeing a great program this evening that you like. Doctor Who is one of the best programs on Channel 9, and it deserves your support your support and your assistance in keeping the program on the air. Once again, our memberships for this evening, a $35 basic membership will get you our record album, and for a $60 membership, you will get the nine card, and you'll also get our book, Doctor Who, The Unfolding Text. So there's, excuse me, there's really no reason why you shouldn't become a member of Channel 9. I have many friends who are members also, and we can sit down on Sunday nights in front of the television, Turn on Doctor Who, or turn on Masterpiece Theater, or turn on Sneak Previews, and sit back with a feeling of satisfaction saying, we are helping to support these programs on Channel, Channel 9. It's a public station, not a commercial station. They don't show commercials like they do on, uh, on other stations. Doctor Who is basically uncut throughout uh, its showing. Many places have Doctor Who in episodes, which are seen several nights through the week. But with that, you might have a better chance of missing a particular episode. Here on Channel 9, they show them all at one time. You can see the whole episode, and you know that you're getting all of the information that you're getting out of Ch Doctor Who. And please, call in your support to Channel 9. We're going to be going away in just a few minutes, but please, I will be back after the program is over to give you some more information. So, after the program is over, don't uh, don't just turn it off. Last week, I, uh, someone heard me and I said, don't turn that off when I came back. And he said, well, I was just walking up to the TV as I turned it off. And he did, but you shouldn't do that. Uh, we're finding here in St. Louis that people have very strong opinions about the doctors. Tom Baker is a good doctor, Peter Davison, John Pertwee, and many other doctors that we hopefully will be seeing here on Channel 9 in the near future. So please pick up that phone, dial 726-9900, tell the person that you want to support Doctor Who here on Channel 9. I'll be back in a few minutes. Enjoy the program and dial 726-9900.